there are different kinds of dragonflies. We recognize them as dragonflies because they have anatomical traits which they share in common. And so one could classify some insects as dragonflies based on anatomical traits. The same would be true of beetles. Beetles share anatomical traits which justify them being put into a group as do butterflies, as do wasps, as do ants, etc. And so we are familiar with insects forming uh, biological groups based on anatomical features. But different insect groups, such as the orders, the order Odonata for dragonflies, Coleoptera for beetles, Lepidoptera for butterflies, etc., these orders also seem to be related. Now we know this because insects in general seem to share anatomical traits, such as a head, thorax, and abdomen, uh, three pairs of limbs, uh, compound eyes, etc. So we can identify traits uh, which insects share anatomically. But then the same study can be performed using genetic analysis. One can compare the sequences of DNA molecules, the amino acid sequences of proteins, and the like. So for example, here is one study of many which took three genes and then studied diverse insects. So I've distributed the insect names randomly throughout the screen at first. And it could be that upon comparing the genes in different uh, insects that they all have identical copies, in which case there would be no pattern, they would just be identical. Or they could have um, a pattern within, say, the dragonflies or the beetles, but be completely unrelated to each other elsewhere. Or, you know, there could be many um, patterns. They could be unrelated uh, to each other and not even have the same uh, genes. However, what is observed uh, through genetic analysis is the same as what is observed through anatomic analysis in that insects form groups. There are small groups of, say, related species, which we group together in a single genus. There are related genera, which can be grouped together in a family. There are related families that can be grouped together in an insect order. Obviously, there can be subgroups like subfamilies, superfamilies, infraorders, suborders, etc. But then even the insect orders seem to be related in a pattern. This is what is called a nested hierarchy, suggesting that there were once ancestral insects, which were the ancestors of all modern insects. And as time passed, the great family tree diversified with different branches splitting off at different points so that all insects are related to each other, but to varying degrees. Some insect uh, groups share a common ancestor more recently and thus share more genetic similarities. And so the pattern of relationship which one observes in insects based on genetic analysis matches what we observe when comparing anatomical traits, a nested hierarchy where insects are related to each other, but to varying degrees, suggesting the gradual branches of a great family tree over long periods of time.